hello and welcome to another youtube video we are still on the topic of data visualization and uh, in today's video we are going to be talking about the histogram by taking a quick look you will think uh, the histogram is actually similar to the bar chart but i can tell you that that's false the only similarities or the only common thing between the histogram and the bar chart is based on the fact that they both use bars to actually visualize our data set and nothing much we have a whole lot of differences between the histogram and the bar chart and one of the most important ones being the fact that the histogram is actually used to visualize continuous variables uh, continuous variables are those variables that are not countable but they are actually uh, measurable if you need more information about the concept of continuous variable i have a video for you so you can just go check that out after watching this video one of the second most important property of the histogram is based on the fact that unlike the bar chart in which the horizontal axis is actually more of the categorical variable uh, for a histogram the horizontal axis is more of uh, the beans or what we call the class so basically the beans of the class are actually just intervals that actually helps us to split our data in order for us to be able to like visualize using histogram i will still come back to the concept of bean and class and explain it better when i try to visualize the data set thirdly we do not have spaces in between the bars of an histogram or like the bar charts where we have equal spaces another distinct property of an histogram is based on the fact that it can actually visualize a large amount of data set so as usual i would like to use a proper data set to actually uh, explain the concept of histogram so uh, i have a very simple data set right here uh, i will be starting with that then i'll move to the uh, the popular superstar data sets to actually visualize this data set uh, using a histogram so let's get into excel so this is a data set i collected uh, in a class so i actually asked some students for their age and uh, i asked 30 students in total for their age so individual values of this 23 25 19 each of these are called variables and the variables make up a data set of age so basically uh, you can see that unlike a bar chart we usually have a categorical variable uh, next to the values of age but in this case it's just a pure value if i want to plot an histogram for this uh, data set right here all i have to do is to actually uh, select all of this or you can just select it like this then come to insert uh, we can see the histogram right here and then boom uh, so let's just change this let's change this to age so as you can see we have our histogram right here we have the bars uh, but you notice some numbers right here so we have 19 to 22.3 we have 22.3 to 25.6 we have 25.6 to 28.9 and 28.9 to 32.2 now this is what we call the class it's like the interval that we use to split this class so it simply means that people that are aged between 19 to 22.3 there are actually 14 of them people that are aged 22.3 years old to 25.6 they are actually um around 10 of them or 11 of them are people that are aged between 25.6 to 28.9 we have that to be four and people that are aged between 28.9 and 32.2 we actually have them to be uh i think one of them just one person so excel has been programmed in such a way that it's going to give you the best class or the best bin for your histogram on a normal day you can actually switch those bin and change it and as you change it it's going to change uh, the shape of the histogram so the distance between uh each of the bin is the same thing that is a uh, 19 minus 22.3 uh, the answer is 3.3 uh you know 23 25.6 rather minus 22.3 the answer is 3.3 that's fixed but sometimes you may want to change the value of those classes and um, you know have uh and histogram customized to your taste and uh, Excel does not have that so there is actually this software that I use that can actually help me to like allow me it kind of allows me to change the class bin and all like that so let me move into the software and here's the software it's actually a calculator from socio soak statistics.com uh, it is tagged and histogram maker so all I have to do is to just paste my data set which I've actually done from Excel I've copied it from Excel then I'm pasting it right here, then I click on generate so once i click on generate it kind of give me something uh close to what excel also gave me you can see between 19 to 22 22 to 25 25 to 28 20 to 31 you know something like that so uh it also gave me uh a simple or just something about the descriptive statistics you know 
we have uh, the main the standard deviation the skewness all of those little details now when you come down here you can actually now edit the number of classes that i want so right here we have just four classes we have 19 to 22 22 to 25 25 to 28 and so we have four classes if i decide to like change this to six classes you will realize that um it's going to change the histogram so let's say edit histogram and you see what our histogram looks like right here so we have 19 to 21 21 to 23 23 to 25 25 to 27 27 to 29 and 29 to 31 and we have their corresponding frequencies right here so this is one thing that excel does not have but it's not really uh, necessary excel has actually been programmed to give you the best class or the best beans for your histogram so let's go into the superstore data set and see if we can actually plot our histogram with uh, that data set so and this is our superstore data set you can see we have a whole lot of variable right here so the first step is just to select all of this and actually insert uh, a pivot table and when we do that it gives us something new right here so uh, as usual I can come to the pivot table analysis and click on pivot chart but when I come to histogram I realize that it tells me something it says you can create this chart type with the data inside the pivot table please select a different chart type or copy the data outside the pivot table so this simply means that you can't use your pivot table to actually visualize your histogram so what the pivot table do is to like for any quantitative value we have let's say uh profits or uh sales we have to categorize them in terms of country city state postal code region product id or category and uh the histogram is not basically used for categorical variables the histogram is basically for quantitative straight numerical continuous variables so that means that the histogram can't be used when it comes to the concept of pivot table analysis or you using pivot table so what do we do right here so we come back to our data and then we go to the numerical ones uh, let's say okay we have this count we have quantity right here all we have to do is just come here we have to insert and then we just insert the histogram and it gives us something like this so this is the histogram for quantity so you can see that it has actually made uh the classes for us we have one to 1.62 1.62 2.24 and stuff like that so this is the histogram that actually uh, describe uh, quantity you can also do the same thing for discount and profit and we're going to be having a histogram for our data set now the histogram is actually very important when it comes to statistics because uh, from the histogram you can be able to get uh, a whole lot of details about your data set take for example when the histogram is well plotted to scale you can actually get the value of the mean the median and the mode from the histogram which we know is very important to the concept of numerical analysis also from the histogram you can be able to tell whether your data set is actually uh, skewed to the left uh, is skewed to the right or it is actually a normally distributed data so whenever you are interested in details about your data sets without even trying to do any form of calculations you are actually advised to actually work with your histogram if you need to learn more about the concept of continuous variable i have a video right here for you that you can just go check out and if you need to learn more about the scales or the level of data set that we have on statistics i actually have a video for you right here do you have some questions for me or you feel i actually missed something right there please go down to the comment section and actually drop those questions i would definitely respond to them so thanks for making it to the end of this video and we we'll see you in the next one bye for now